Hello everyone, Vito is a free to back with another deck review. Today we're looking at the casual V2 from Paul Robaya. I, I picked this one up not too long ago. And it came pretty quickly. Um, incidentally, the original one, which doesn't have as nice of a tuck case as this one, is one that I almost didn't even pick up and waited until it was damn near impossible to find one, to try and find one, but I did manage to get one thanks to Hocus Pocus, I believe it was. Help me out. Anyways, this is the second edition. It was released through his website, paperclubs.com. Front of the box says Casual V2. Down here, Casual is embossed. It says Casual Playing Cards, second edition, printed in USA, designed by Paul Robaya. And for some reason, as a design feature or whatever, he's decided not to put any spaces between any words because reasons. <laughs> the front of the box and then the the, the cards themselves, they have a few different colors here. They got a gold, black, a mint, and a white. And if you were to feel them, you'd feel that there's... The mint is embossed. It's higher than the rest. Uh, as is the white. And the white actually has a... Kind of a... I don't know if you can actually tell. There is a... I need to see myself... If, if I can't see it, you're not going to see it. Come on. I want to show you the tuck case very badly. And I'm not able to do that. There you go. The white part has this interesting textured pattern wherever you look. And you can feel that. There you go. You can see it pretty clearly there. So I just wanted to show you that, so you can see that interesting, nice detail. Just like I said, whoops, why is in the way? Castle is embossed as well. The artwork just continues with the embossing right around the sides. The top is just minty green. The bottom, more of the same with all the embossing, and the back more of the same. And there's a custom seal that says Casual V2 in gold foil and. There is something here to do with San Diego. I believe that has to do with the people who produced the tuck case, which is... I'm going to try to focus this. Which is a company whose name I can't recall. They're the ones who do all the all the tuck cases for Fury 11 and Dan and Dave and whatnot. Um, same company. I just don't know which one it is. For some dumb reason, I can't remember. The flap is green right from the top to there and so are these ones standard standard kind of a matte finish for the rest of the tuck case aside from that and then you get to the cards they are similar yet different to the previous ones you get an ad card that says for more original playing card designs visit paulrobaya.com nothing to do with his paper club's website and there's this gold metallic ink strip going through it all the cards have metallic ink on the backs and on some of the faces. Here's the back design. It also has metallic ink. Nice gold metallic ink. Black, white, and the minty green colors. You get the stumble backer. Also gold borders. The jokers. Right there, you get this guy in, with some, again, the gold metallic ink. And joker and green and white behind him. These are inspired by a vintage Russell point card company Joker I believe it is and you get two of them the same identical so I think that's a pretty cool little thing of course they've minimalized it a little bit the Ace of Spades says Casuals V2 on the bottom it's a nice custom pip you get to the court cards they are standard recolored simplified lots of gold foil uh, gold uh, as it's a gold metallic ink not foil they're not foil don't I don't want to mislead anyone. They are gold metallic ink. Very shiny gold metallic ink. And they were kind of inspired by Dan and Dave court cards. The smoke and mirror court cards, I should say. Where they were nice and simplified on the older decks. And that's what they did with that. They're very nice. I like them. And the number cards are just basically standard. It is printed 
I believe it's on a B crest B stock. I recall correctly with an Air Christian Finis. Or maybe it's just a bicycle stock. I don't really recall at the moment. Unfortunately, I'm not very professional today with my reviews. Anyways, nonetheless, it looks pretty cool. Handles great. I like it. And what can I say there? It's a, it's a cool deck, very shiny. <laughs> if you like shiny, you're gonna want to check it out. Um, obviously, outside of that, it's it ha does have some similarities to the previous casuals, and it's similar to a lot of other cardistry type decks with all the geometric shapes and multiple colors. But yeah, it's a pretty cool deck nonetheless. Handles pretty good. I like it. I would give it a 10 out of 10. I can't find any faults with it per se, so it would have to be a 10 out of 10. Comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. Check out paperclubs.com. Check out paulrobaya.com. Links will be in the description. And I'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching. See ya.